Today, our verse is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. Come, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come buy and eat, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. God invites his people to share in his abundance. At first sight, listening to those words, what comes to mind is that God is going to give his people physical food. Yes, God does give his people such food. He fed them in the wilderness for 40 years with manna. He can provide water for them. And he did. He provided water for them in the wilderness. Truly, the people did not pay for the food and water that God gave to them. They received them gratis. And so, God is saying to his people, he can do it again. And Jesus fulfills that in the gospel. He's going to feed the people just as God fed them in the wilderness. But we need to look at this verse in a deeper way. What kind of food, what kind of water is God going to give to his people? What kind of food and water is he inviting his people to come and participate in? It is the food that will satisfy the thirsty soul. And we see this in the very next verses. He says, why do you spend your money on what is not bread and your labor for what does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me and eat what is good and delight yourselves in rich food. And this is the punch line. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen that your soul may live. And I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. It is obvious, therefore, that the kind of food in this context is not physical. The food is the word of God. The water is the fountain of life from which flows the wisdom and knowledge of God. It is the food and the wine of the soul. God wants to feed us with his word and make us drink of the riches of his wisdom. That is why Jesus will say to the crowd who were looking for him after he fed them that they should seek the food that lasts forever. There are many people physically hungry today. We cannot preach to hungry people and leave them hungry. Hence, Jesus had to feed the crowds so that they can listen to his words. So let us look at this verse from the two angles. Feeding the hungry physically and feeding them spiritually. So we pray for those who are hungry all over the world that God will raise men and women those of us who are better placed than them to feed them. But we also pray for those who are starving spiritually, that God may feed them and open their eyes to see the actual hungry people around them. Except their spiritual eyes are open, they cannot see the physically hungry people around them. We pray that the eyes of our politicians and those who are better placed than others may be open to see the needs of those around them. Lord God, feed us with your word and open our eyes to see the hungry around us. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a lovely day.